Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen. This is Broad Spectrum FPF 100+. Plus. So this is really, it has a lot of SPF. This is like, if you are someone who is really prone to like sunburns, this is definitely what you want to use if you're going to be outside for a while. And it says it has Helioplex Broad Spectrum, UVA and UVB. Weightless, clean feel, non-greasy, water resistant. I feel like Neutrogena just really knows what they're talking about, what they're doing when it comes to skincare. And it's number one dermatologist recommended skincare and I really, really do love this sunscreen. I don't use it every single time, I like, but because sometimes I do want to get like a nice tan and I feel like this really, really helps to like not get tan because it has such high SPF. But, so it says here, sorry, it's kind of got like some nail polish or something on it. But it says, Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist with Helioplex provides superior broad spectrum protection against skin aging UVA and burning UVB rays with an ultra light, non-greasy feel. New full reach design extends your reach so you can easily apply powerful protection even on hard to reach places like your back. So that's what like this little handle here is for. If you can like see the picture of the girl, it's like easier to like, you can also do it upside down and it's really nice. The other thing I like about this is if you can hear that click, it locks it so you can't spray it. It's really nice to be able to throw it in the bag and if it's locked you know that like none of the product is going to spill or it's not going to like accidentally push on the top and spray but then you click it both again and it comes right, oh maybe not, click it again. There you go. And it comes right out. It has a decent smell to it. Like it definitely smells like sunscreen but it's not like overpowering which is really really nice and it is really easy to apply to like your back if you're by yourself you don't have to rub it in either which is really nice you just spray it and that's it the back has your active ingredients which all the purpose is for sunscreen your it has your uses which is to help prevent sunburn views as directed with other sun protection measures so basically it's telling you that this might not prevent sunburn like on its own I think it usually does a pretty good job but just like it's just a warning that like if you do still get sunburn they're basically telling you it's because you did something wrong you were outside too long or you weren't wearing a hat or something like that I don't know and then it's got your warnings do not use on damaged or broken skin so if you have like a cut or a wound you try not to put it try not to get any of the product on there if you already have a sunburn you shouldn't put it on you shouldn't even go outside to where you would need 100 spf if you already are sunburned you need to like let your skin heal keep away from face to avoid breathing it so yeah you don't want to spray your face i do put it on my face but usually i will spray some into my hand like i'll put my hand like really really close to the nozzle and then spray it so that I get the product in my hand, all the product in my hand, and then I rub it on my face and neck as well because I don't, you don't want to do your neck and then accidentally get it into your mouth or your nose or your eyes or anything like that because that will burn. And even if you like close your mouth and you like don't breathe for a second, I don't know if you've ever used like pepper spray or been around pepper spray, that it lingers. So especially because you're supposed to put this on inside, not outside. So when you're like inside, there's like no wind, so it lingers, and so even like 10 or 15 seconds after you sprayed it, you might think you're good to like start breathing or open your eyes again, but you might not be because it lingers. It's an aerosol can, so it is flammable, the contents are under pressure, so it can combust if you are near a fire, or it's just like really hot, don't puncture or incinerate, store at temperature below 120 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you've got your directions. Spray liberally and spread evenly by hand 15 minutes before exposure. So it says, it does say to rub it in after you spray. I usually don't. I guess it just depends on how much product you put on. I guess if you spray it and then rub it in, you could probably use less product rather than if you just spray it. So I mean, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. I don't use it. I don't rub it in and I've 
really don't get sunburned or anything like that when I use this even if I'm outside for like a really long time. Apply to all skin exposed to the sun. Hold container 4 to 6 inches from face or from skin to apply and rub in. Do not spray directly onto face. Spray on hands and then apply to face. Rub in. So there you go. I do it to my neck as well because the neck is like really close to your face. Do not apply in windy conditions. So if you're already at the beach, you're, this is why you should do it inside because if you are doing it outside and it's windy, the product's kind of going to go everywhere. So it's going to be harder to get it directly on your skin and you're just going to waste more product that way. Use in a well ventilated area. Reapply after 80 minutes of swimming or sweating and immediately after towel drying at least every two hours. So yeah, it is water resistant, but uh, you still have to reapply it if you're going to be in the water for like a really long time or if you're going to like towel dry because that could like wipe the product away as well. But overall, this is a really great sunscreen. They do have them in lower SPFs as well, just if you don't want it such a high SPF, but I would highly recommend this sunscreen. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.